Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iOS. Well, iPad OS. So let's get started going to your settings. On your settings, you should see this popping up. But let's say you guys don't, because you don't see the second option where it says software update. Scroll down, you guys can see general. Under general, second option is going to say software update. Turn on and off automatic updates. That should refresh things for you if you're not getting anything here. And if you're still having problems, just hook it up to your computer and update it from there. For example, on Mac, you guys can use Finder in order to backup and update or on pc you guys can use itunes so find their mac itunes on pc now if it takes a long time to check for that update just make sure your internet's working just fine but don't worry about it because this is the first day that the update came out well there's a ton of people wanting to do this so that's why it's taking a long time now not everybody's gonna see down here below where it says upgrade to ipad os 26 some people will only see ipad os 18.7 which is fine. That means your iPad can only go up to that. Now there is a list that I have where you guys can see if your iPad's compatible with the latest one, but if it's not, it's okay. Um, the latest thing's not always the best, but regardless, um, just try it out. Go ahead and update it to 18.7 if you guys don't see iPadOS 26 on the bottom. So make that update first, then go ahead and check again to see if you guys can upgrade one more time to iPadOS 26. Anyways, right now, let's say you guys do see iPad 26 down here below, tap on it, then update now. So just tap on update now. Once you tap there, just put in your passcode. And once you put in your passcode, you do have to agree to this so on the bottom, right hand side, tap agree, agree again, and there you go. So what's gonna happen? It's gonna download the update. After downloading, it's gonna install it. How long will this take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed. Also depends how many people are doing this at the exact same time as you. Usually, if you're watching this a few weeks later, a few months later than when this came out, then there's no wait time. It just downloads right away. Other than that, right now, although you do are required to have 50% of your battery, what I suggest doing is always have it hooked up charging while this update's happening. Even if, let's say you guys have 80% of your battery, still have it hooked up while this is happening, just in case. Other than that, right now, technically, you guys could just leave it, just let it be, and then come back to it afterwards. If, and only if, this is still happening where it says update requested, nothing's happening, then fully shut down your iPad, turn it on again, and then things should refresh and you should be seeing the new iPad OS 26 downloading and then installing. But you would have to do the exact same thing we just did a few seconds ago, but again, fully shut off. And the same thing goes if you guys have an iPhone, for example. But as of right now, just let it be. Come back to it afterwards. Now, something I forgot to mention is that you should have enough storage. That doesn't mean that you have the exact amount that this iOS takes up. No, if it tells you that this iOS, for example, takes up only four gigs, you should have double the amount. So that means eight gigs. In general, I always say have 15 gigs of free space on your iPad. So that way this can download and install. Sometimes you have the exact amount for it to download, but then when it restarts and tries to install everything, it's not gonna have enough storage. Or if it just doesn't want to download things, you probably don't have enough storage. So go on, clean things up, then come back to it. What I personally do is just delete Netflix and anything like that, that takes up actually quite a bit of space, like social media stuff takes up a lot of space. But at the same time, once I'm done with the update, I can just re-download that stuff and you're not gonna lose anything because everything's saved online regardless, so. But if you guys do see a screen like so, where it says about five minutes left, two minutes left, just let it be, come back to it afterwards. All right, as your update went through, you would have seen an Apple logo, a loading bar, you would have seen that twice. You would have restarted, swipe up, put in your passcode, and then you would see this screen where it says software update completed. Just go on and tap on continue or just only download. For me, it's only download. I'm gonna change that to later on, by the way, but it's up to you. I never want this to update by itself. I'm gonna put not now because I don't need that. And notification summary. I am not gonna do that either. Priority notification, same thing for me. It's not really a thing. And I don't like beta stuff either. Anyways, we're gonna just continue on. We can always skip this stuff, but it's good for this to show you what options you guys have. So we're just gonna continue on. Uh, it's gonna show us a little bit more about the stuff that we can do now. And you should look at this to see what's new about it. But from what I can tell you, it's more about a full 
like a new look than anything else. So right now it's gonna give us two options, full screen apps or full screen apps and windowed apps. I'm gonna keep it as is, windowed apps. Um, although technically I don't personally like that much, <laughs> but just to show you guys. So we're gonna tap on get started and that's it. This is the whole new look. You guys can go ahead and just check that everything went okay by going here, software update. Everything will be a little laggy at first. Later on, it's gonna get better. Don't worry about that. And remember I told you that I'm gonna change the automatic updates. I don't want them to even download by themselves. So I wanna turn that off. Let me just go back and we can see that we are in fact in the latest iPad OS. Anyways, as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write there in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.